Hi everybody, welcome to Carleton University. My name is Rob Finlayson and I manage international partnerships for Carleton and it is my pleasure to be here with you today to give you a bit of information about what Carleton has to offer you. In particular, we're gonna take some time to talk about our unique Bachelor of Health Sciences program. For all of you that might be thinking about studying medicine, dentistry, or even doing advanced research related to human health, Carleton's gonna be an amazing choice for you. So one of the great things about Carleton, of course, is we're based in Ottawa, Canada's beautiful national capital city. Uh, as a G7 capital, of course, Ottawa has a lot of resources that are simply not found anywhere else in Canada. Uh, so from that perspective, our students are able to engage with these primary sources for research, for learning, and just for engaging in general. So it's a truly dynamic location. Uh, one, of course, where people speak English and French. We're an English university in a bilingual city. So that French flavor to the city, I think, is something people find really charming. Uh, Carleton's 52 park-like hectares of green space in the central part of Ottawa really gives our students, I think, the best of both worlds. Um, what I mean by that is it's a self-contained campus, so people truly get involved in the campus community. They join clubs and societies, they meet up with their friends when their classes are finished. But you don't get that at the expense of location because we are in the central part of Ottawa. Uh, getting off campus to take advantage of the opportunities found here is super easy to do. So whether it's a beautiful sunny day like today and you're swimming in one of our beaches uh, or perhaps a snowier, colder day where you have a chance to do some really amazing downhill skiing, snow snowboarding or Nordic skiing. Uh, and of course, we're bordered by the Rideau Canal, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So maybe you can learn to skate when you're here with us at Carleton as well. Okay, so as I mentioned, Carleton University is one of Canada's leading universities, and I also mentioned that Canada's got consistently high quality education across the board. So from that perspective, choosing a university that's the right fit for you is an important way forward. So what is it about Carleton that might make it a good fit for you? Well, I'm happy to say that Carleton is a school of about 31,000 students, of which about 15% or close to 5,000 students come from outside of Canada. So from that perspective, it's a very diverse campus. Uh, we truly have students from all over the world. People come to Ottawa from different locations and they live and study together. They form friendships. And then wherever you go post-graduation, whether you choose to stay in Canada, whether you return home or you go to another location, uh, you're part of this international community of alumni that Carleton Carleton has as well. So what makes Carleton unique? Well, um, we're a comprehensive university, and so that means we offer a broad array of subjects across many disciplines. So from engineering and design to science to social science and business. And one of the unique things about us is you can combine programs. So today we're really gonna focus on the health sciences degree, but you can combine health sciences with other subjects, or if you're interested in engineering and science or business and French, I mean, there's many unique combinations and it's something that Carleton's really good at. So you guys got to see a very small sample of our big, beautiful park-like campus, but I encourage you to do a virtual campus tour to see more, and you can do that in English or Brazilian Portuguese. I will say Carleton's campus is like a city within the city with its own residences, food services, athletics. We even have our own campus radio station, so it truly has everything. But of course, today really is about health sciences. And again, for those of you that are hoping to go on to study medicine or advanced research in human health, it's all about health sciences. So we're gonna go explore our health sciences building and who better to explain this to us than Dr. Martin Holchik, our professor and chair of our Department of Health Sciences. And we'll get to meet one of our students as well. So follow me. The so Bachelor of Health Sciences is a four-year program which culminates with the Honours uh, uh, project and therefore it's a Bachelor of Health Sciences with Honours and it introduces and educates our students with a va uh, vast variety of issues, health issues uh, facing our society. We sometimes refer to it as it's a program from cell to society because we introduce all of different aspects uh, to our students. We provide education in both the biomedical area, but also in psychosocial determinants, because that's really what drives the health issues. There are five concentrations, biomedical, global, environment and health, uh, chronic disease, and life through, uh, health through lifespan. And as you can see, it's a very broad area of health. 
Now, students don't have to actually decide right away which concentration they want to take because they can uh, uh, switch from one concentration to another until second year, or we allow students to combine the concentrations together so they can have a dual concentration, or they can add a minor from a different unit. So they can, for example, have Bachelor of Health Sciences with minor in physics or business or biology or neuroscience. Uh, Carleton, as you know, attracts a diverse international student community. Students from over 150 countries study at Carleton. Um, how would you describe the international student community within the health sciences department? Excellent question. I think we are sort of a nice mirror image of what's happening uh, more broadly at Carleton. Yeah. About 30 to 35 percent of our students are international, okay. uh, and they represent a sort of good mosaic of different cultures and backgrounds coming into, into health sciences. I think it's really very important that we also, in our curriculum, reflect that. And so we offer courses, for example, on global health or indigenous health. And so it allows the students to see themselves in some of these courses because it's not just about the Canadian system or Canadian regulations. Uh, when it comes to the lab environment or research environment, there are no boundaries and no borders. Hi, Valeska, it's nice to meet you. Um, for our audience, can you tell us um, where you're from? So I'm from Brazil. I'm from a small city in Minas Gerais. Oh, okay, what city? So it's called Ouro Branco. Ouro Branco? Yeah, nice. it's like a historical city. Pretty cool, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'll have to visit one day. Yes. <laughs> um, Just out of curiosity, have you ever, had you been to Canada before coming to study? No, here? it was my first time. Okay. I lived in the USA for like a year and a half. But to Canada, it was my first time. What, what were your impressions of Canada when you first arrived? Well, I got here in May, okay. so in 2019. So the weather was getting better. So it was spring. Yes. So the city was really nice. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I love it well, actually. Um, have you made friends with any Brazilian students? Yes. So we have one Brazilian student in another lab. Um, and then I have other friends here as well. Okay. We have a lot of Brazilians at Carleton, actually. Okay, <laughs> yes. that's great. In your opinion, what would be the benefits of studying health sciences here in Ottawa, Canada's national capital city? I think Carleton is really well sort of positioned for a health sciences program for a number of reasons. The first one is that we are in the national capital, and therefore most of the uh, agencies which are associated with health, the federal agencies, are here. And so we have lots of collaborations and interactions and partnerships with them. There is Health Canada, Stats Canada, uh, Environment in Canada. So they're all here and we have partnerships with them. The second thing is that uh, Ottawa has a, a number of hospitals and hospital associated research institutes. And again, we have partnerships and collaborations with these and our students get to actively participate both from sort of the teaching perspective. So we bring speakers from the hospitals, for example, but also they can do their research projects in some of these hospitals or research institutes affiliated with hospitals. So we are really well placed for that. Okay. It's also a beautiful campus and a beautiful part of the country. Yeah, all of that's really true. And um, that makes me think too, uh, kind of about the resources students take advantage of. Um, of course, we're speaking today in the health sciences building. Um, what resources are available to students here in this building and across campus as a whole? So we are very lucky and fortunate that we are in a, a fairly new building. It was uh, built or finished 2018. That's when we moved here. Uh, and the uh, building uh, houses our faculty, our teaching laboratories, our research laboratories. And we share some of the space with our colleagues in neuroscience. So for example, the teaching laboratory space, which we'll have a look in a moment, uh, it's uh, co-shared with the neuroscience. So we would have uh, labs there for our students. So they have access to really uh, state-of-the-art infrastructure for wet laboratory activities. So we do microbiology and immunology and molecular pathology that's done in these labs. Wow. Uh, more broadly on campus, uh, Carleton has always been very strong for experiential learning. Mm -hmm. So that means from first year, hands-on experience. Okay. So chemistry labs, that is the super lab, mm -hmm. uh, which allows students to really sort of chemistry at a sort of very high level. Uh, same thing for genetics. Uh, and I already mentioned our labs. Uh, if they're taking uh, any sort of simulation type labs, or for example, in computer science, or if they're taking, in our program, epidemiology, you require computing infrastructure. That's all available on campus. Wow. What's your favorite attribute of Carleton's campus? Um, I like the outdoors. So this is a plus for me. So being able to leave the lab and have my lunch by the Dawes Lake Park, mm. 
is really good. Um, and I also like the resources for sure. So yeah, we have access to everything we need here. For those of you that haven't seen our campus, you can do a virtual campus tour. You can see the beautiful nature yeah. and also see that we're situated really centrally in Ottawa too. So uh, best of both worlds, perhaps yes. you could say. So in the fourth year of the program, students participated in capstone projects. Um, can you explain for our viewers what that is and what type of experiences they can take advantage of when they pursue that? Yes. <clears throat> So Capstone is really sort of the pinnacle of the education for the undergraduate student. And the idea behind Capstone is that they take everything they learn in the first three years, all the theoretical knowledge, all the practical knowledge from the labs, they can build it into something which will encompass all of that learning. We offer three different Capstone projects. Uh, one is called a research essay. The second opportunity is a research thesis. So that's kind of, I think, what traditionally people think of when they think of Capstone. And the third type is probably the most popular among our students, and it's um, capstone research field placement. Mm -hmm. And field placements are, we have about 45 of them right now. They are typically with our external partners. Uh, we have partners from hospitals and research institutes in hospitals to Ottawa Police Force, Sports Medicine Clinic, uh, National Institute for Blind, uh, Ottawa Police Force, paramedics, and you name it. And the students work with external supervisor on the research project, which is determined by the uh, agency. That sounds really interesting. Um, and it makes me think of some of our incoming students who probably, some, have a very specific idea of what they want to do when they graduate. Uh, medicine comes to mind, but other professional programs too, perhaps. Uh, others might be motivated by a love of research and maybe have this postgraduate idea in their minds. Um, it sounds like the capsule project prepares them for different outcomes, postgraduate study, for example, but um, what advice would you have for incoming students in terms of um, what they might want to pursue, and what if someone's undecided, like how would they mm -hmm. sort of settle on a decision? Yeah, so I think the best thing is if you come with an open mind and be curious. Uh, there is so much to offer, and take that first year to sort of explore and see what is offered by the department. Uh, don't be shy. It's important to reach out, and whether it's through peers or, no, faculty is very approachable. We all have student hours. We are very happy to interact with our students. Through our society, we organize different social events. So find out what is out there and try something. And I think what's really exciting about our program is that because we are interdisciplinary, uh, we can offer both sides of this health sciences coin. The students have an opportunity to try something. So they could try, for example, one summer, in the lab like this. But the next summer they can do a community-based research and they can really see what it is to be in one or the other type of uh, research approach. What is it they like? You know, are they more passionate about one or the other? And then they can take advantage of the knowledge and for the capstone they can choose the one they like the best because then it will open hopefully the door into their next opportunity. And students sometimes come with very specific vision. This is what I want. And that's wonderful. And we can certainly support them in that. We can enhance the, uh, the, the passion they have for a particular direction. But we also have students who have absolutely no idea. And when they come and say, I'm not sure what exactly I, I want to try. So the answer is, well, why don't you try both or all three and see what's there, what attracts you, what sort of sparks that interest and passion in you. Um, what is it that you like about Carleton and, and Ottawa too? So since I'm from a small city and I have been like to a small university as well, yep. I think like in big universities, it's much more difficult to be in close contact with instructors and professors. And I think this is a really good thing about Carleton, like about health sciences more specifically, because we know everybody. Mm -hmm. So if I need help with something, even if like he's not my supervisor, I can just talk to a professor and they are very approachable. So yeah. This is something I think Car Carleton's good. Big enough to have all the resources. Exactly. The but still feels very yes. friendly. Yes. Um, from that perspective, what have some of our alumni or graduates gone into you once they graduate? They typically end up in sort of these three broad categories uh, of what they pursue first. So we have students who continue to professional schools, so that will be medical school, law, dentistry, veterinary school. We have students who continue into graduate school. Uh, some of the students stay in our program. Our department offers two different graduate programs. We have the traditional thesis-based master's and PhD, but we also have uh, master's in health science, technology, and policy. 
which is a course-based program with a group research project. Um, but often we see students going through things like epidemiology, Master of Public Health, Health Administration. And so they're quite successful because, again, we prepare them very broadly for all these different directions. But we also have students who continue directly into the workforce. And it's typically through the capstone field placements, they find an opportunity because they're working with external partner, and then they seize that opportunity and then continue. Uh, and we have students who then end up in the federal government or in the pharma industry, even in the beauty industry. You know, so. Well, Eska, what do you think? What kind of student can succeed in our program? So I think the first thing we need to be is like, is to be curious about all the field. Because in health science, you can do social science and you can also do like lab-based research. So, and in this program, you can kind of experience both um, uh, fields, I would say. So if you are willing to try like both of them and see what you like the most and what are the areas you would have more interest in would help for the success in the program, I would say. And do you think they need to know exactly what they want to do when they finish oh, or can they come sort of... <laughs> no, you need to, to experience the whole thing, you know. So it's like four years of undergrad. Um, so you have four years to, to see what you really like mm -hmm. and find out like what moves you. Very good, yeah. I, yeah. Good, good. Another thing I'd highlight for you is almost all of our degrees offer professional paid work through our co-op program. This allows you to get professional experience that's directly related to your subject of study, uh, make business contacts, build a LinkedIn presence, have references, and of course get paid as well, which is a great way to help pay for your costs too. So we have a great campus with many different programs that could be combined together, abilities to work and study. Uh, in terms of choosing Carleton University, and if you're thinking about the admissions piece, the primary assessment for us is going to be good grades. So if you're studying math and science courses and you want to do a health science degree at Carleton, we're going to be looking for good grades in those subjects. And all of our high school applicants are automatically assessed for entrance scholarships. So if you have good grades, it is quite likely you would receive some form of financial support to help you with your studies as well. So some really great scholarships in addition to those work study opportunities. What advice would you have for students that are listening today that are maybe thinking about moving away from home, studying overseas, coming to Carleton here in Canada? Um, what would you tell them? Um, so this is not easy to be like far from your family and stuff, but I think it's worth it. You know, the experience you get by living in a different country, like living with other people from a different culture, yep. it, it's totally worth it.